As a child with parents that weren't really emotionally available, I had this emptiness inside of me that I didn't really know how to feel. They tried their best, you know, they really did. And I loved them and they loved me. I just don't know if they really knew how to show me that. Like I was always afraid that something terrible had happened to them. And I always felt like I had to watch out for them, but I didn't feel like there was anybody to watch out for me. The way that I was taught to deal with life was to find things to sort of numb that pain, to run from those problems. That's all I knew. That's all I knew was to numb my pain, was to find substances, anything to sort of run from those problems instead of face them head on like the average person is normally able to do. I felt that I was hopeless, that I would never amount to anything. Families first, the staff there, they told me that that wasn't the case, that I was so capable and that they were so proud of me. They put this feeling in me that I hadn't known before, this feeling of pride, of knowing that I could accomplish anything that I set my mind to. My struggle started when I was about 12 to 13 in my preteens. My parents were both in active addiction, so that's really what led to it, was just being raised around it and in that environment. First time I sought help, I was about 18. I was pregnant with my son, that was the reason that I sought help. Um, I couldn't really quit using, and I knew that I was, it was an extreme case and that I had to do something. I had created such wreckage in my past with legal issues, with my son at that time who was two, um, having him taken away, things like that. I had felonies, I had charges, I had things that I felt like made me feel hopeless. You know, like I had no future, like these things were gonna be held against me. Families First came in, they helped me, they taught, they gave me stable housing first, I felt secure. They showed up with me to my court appearances and I didn't feel judged like some people may have. I felt like I had a friend there. I felt like I had somebody who had my back. The case managers and the staff at Families First, I can call when I have a question that I don't know the answer to because I wasn't taught these things. And they tell me without judgment. I was sick. I didn't know how to make these decisions on my own. I needed them to help me make these decisions. I needed them to teach me how to be a parent, how to be a productive adult in society. And these are the things that they've taught me. Unfortunately, it didn't happen the first time. It took a couple times, but over time it did happen. I know that as devastating as it is, that there's hope. There's hope to get out of that cycle. There's people out there that are actually really good people and it took me a while to, to find that out because if you have family and things like that, that sometimes you don't feel like you can trust who can you trust. But I found these people that I can trust in Families First Staff. I found these people that were there for me that genuinely cared about me and it wasn't just a job to them. It was like their lives. Like I was, I felt important. I was a part of their lives. Like they genuinely cared and they took time out for me. My goals in five years is to have completed college, be in the field that I want to be in, be a therapist at a treatment center, have stable housing or at least have saved up to where I'm headed in that direction, have worked on my credit, have savings and things like that just to make sure that me and Justin are good.